This short tutorial aims at explaining theoretically how to interpret an interaction effect in an ordinary least square regression. So uh, first imagine an OLS regression where y is the dependent variable. Beta 2 is the intercept, in other words, the value of y when the value of the predicators is 0. x1 is a continuous variable and x2 is, in this case, a dichotomous variable. Therefore, beta 1 may be considered as the coefficient of x1 and beta 2 as the coefficient of x2. Beta 1 is the slope of x1, in other words, the change in y when x1 increases of one unit. The slope, of course, might be positive, null, or negative. Beta 2 is the impact of x2 on y when x2 is 1. Because this is a dichotomous variable coded 0 or 1. So I repeat, beta 2 is the impact of x2 on y when x2 is 1. Well, let's see that in uh, a figure to be uh, clearer. In graphical terms, we can understand the value of b2 for x2 as the difference at the intercept between b2 equal 1 and b2 equal 0. Put in another way, beta 2 gives an information about the value of y when x2 is 1 or 0. As there is no interaction effect in this model, one can imagine two parallel lines going on the same direction. The difference in slope between x2 and when x2 equals 0 and x2 equals 1 will give the same value as the difference at the intercept. We will observe the same uh, difference here, here, or here. That is for a simple OLS. Now imagine an equation when there is actually an interaction effect. This is shown in this formula where x and z are two independent variables. Let's imagine that x is our continuous variable and z the dichotomous variable. And these variables explain uh, y, which is the dependent variable. The third term in red here of the equation is actually the interaction effect. It interacts x and z and provides a third coefficient, in this case the coefficient beta x z. Therefore, the formula may be understood as containing on the one hand a main effect and on the other hand an interaction effect between two or more terms of the main effect. If we take back the previous example, the interaction effect is between a continuous and a dichotomous variable, respectively x1 and x2. The main effect is characterized by uh, the coefficient beta1 and beta2. The interaction effect, looking at the interaction between x1 and x2, is characterized by the coefficient beta 3. How to interpret x2, the variable x2 in this case? We can select the terms in the equation where x2 is and replace x2 by its dichotomous values 0 or 1. When the value of x2 is 0, the result of the equation here will be uh, 0. When x2 is 1, when x2 is coded 1, the result of the equation will be beta 2 plus beta 3 multiplied by x1. Beta 2 will be, in the main effect, the difference at the intercept, and beta 3 will be the difference in slope between the true lines drawn for x2 based on x1. So how to interpret graphically b2, beta2 and beta3? Well, for instance, this figure shows on the x-axis the value of x1, which is a continuous variable, on the y-axis the values of the dependent variable y, 
The first line uh, is the line for x2 when x2 is 0. The second line is the line for x2 when x2 is 1. The difference in slope between line 1 and line 2 gives the coefficient beta 3, while the difference at the intercept gives the coefficient beta 2. So in the main effect, beta 2 will be the difference at the intercept, and in the interaction effect, beta 3 will be the difference between the slopes for x2 equal 0 and x2 equal 1.